This video is for Chapter 5, Section 5.1 for the math activity Addition and Subtraction with Black and Red Tiles. We'll use black and red tiles to model addition and subtraction of integers and that's all we'll need, black and red tiles. Black and red tiles are used to illustrate the integers 0, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, etc. Each black tile represents positive 1 and each red tile represents negative 1. And to pair one black tile and one red tile represent 0. And every integer can be represented in many ways. In this pictured set we have 10 tiles, but the value, the net value of the set is negative 4. Since three of the black tiles can be matched with three of the red tiles leaving only four red tiles behind. In the first question, we're just getting used to the black and red tiles, and we ask you to select a small handful of them and drop them on the table. And then record the number of black, the number of red, and the value of the set. In the virtual manipulatives, you can use the random button. For this set, I see that I have six black and four red tiles, a total of ten tiles. I see that if I select these four black and these four red, that's a value of zero. So the value, the net value of my collection is positive two. After you've made your sets, your random sets, flip them over if you have tiles that are black and red on opposite sides or just switch tiles and then see what happens. If you're using the virtual manipulatives you can use the flip control and flip all the tiles and you'll see a not too surprising thing happens. The reds turn to black, the blacks turn to red and then you can make comments about the number of tiles and the value of the set. For question two, we talk about adding integers. Here we have negative eight and positive five. When we add those together and we put them together in a big pile, then we can mark off the matching pairs and we're left with three red tiles. This is a great way for kids to understand how you can add a negative and a positive number and end up with, in this case, a negative solution. And then we continue in number two to ask you to model some of these. When you show your work, you can draw pictures of black and red tiles, or you might find it simpler to just use a big B for the black and a big R for the red tiles. In question three, we ask you to think about subtracting integers. So you can see here we have a big pile where the value is negative three. There's lots of tiles and we ask you to make that big pile. Then suppose I would like to subtract four, that's positive four. Then I want to remove four black tiles. What's my result? Suppose instead I wanted to remove negative two, two red tiles. What's my result? And again with removing six red or five black tiles. Notice the importance of having the big pile here. If I had just started with three red tiles for negative three, a minimal collection, I would not have been able to take away negative four well, I would not have been able to take away four black tiles. I wouldn't have had any black tiles. So this is why we have this bigger set. You can always start with your number and then add zero pairs to get to the set size that you need. And in question four, we have you explain this. Just make a minimal collection, so three red tiles, and then explain how you can proceed from there. 
That's it for Math Activity 5.1. I hope you have fun adding and subtracting with black and red tiles.